Welcome back guys to a brand new video. It's your local disappointment back with a brand new video. <laughs> I <laughs> that up. <laughs> Welcome back guys to a brand new video. It's your local disappointment back with a brand new anime video. And today we're doing a show I just finished like maybe a week ago. Today we're doing Blue Exorcist. Alrighty, this show is about a boy by the name of Rin, who is the son of Satan and is living in the real world, which is, I think is uh, called Arya. While there's two different dimensions in this world called Arya and Gehenna. Gehenna is a parallel universe where all the demons live. And for his 14, for the first 15 years of Rin's life, he lives as a normal human until one day he unlocks his powers and becomes a full-fledged demon. And went and he has to go to school to become an exorcist due to the death of his real father in the war in the real world, the one that raised him in the in Asia and swears to kill Satan for what he has done and for killing his father and here is where the Vatican wants him dead and the head of the exorcist school has a plan and to keep him alive overall the premise of the story is pretty good when watching I thought it was going to get some of like um Edward and uh, Alfonso Elric uh, brotherly love between Ren and Yukio which are both brothers but instead the more and more you watch the less and less you see Yukio actually support his brother almost getting pissed at him at, at everything he does and always fighting with him and don't get me started on the characters if your name isn't Rin you're not supposed to be loved you're supposed to be hated you dislike every single character in this show at least that's what I got while watching it characters such as Bond, Kaneko, Yukio and many other characters in this show hate on Rin. They avoid him and are even afraid of him and his power. And they just make you hate every other character other than Rin. They make you feel bad for Rin and hate everything that has to do with him. And that just isn't isn't entertaining to be to have to hate every other character but the MC. Okay. Now the worst part about this show. Let's talk about the filler. Why? Why does episode 6, 11, 18 to 25 are all filler? Almost 50% of the show was filler. 37 divided by 2, 18.5, uh, 18.5. Oh shit, that's not half. That's like a little bit less than half. But whatever. <laughs> Although the filler makes no sense, where the father of Yukio and Rin's mother, so Yukio and Rin's mom, their father wants to destroy Gethena, which is the world the demons live in, and use Rin as a sacrifice, then get Yukio possessed and becomes a demon. Then season 2 starts, and it's like, you're confused as f since you have no idea it was filler. And it went overall, it just was dumb. It made completely no sense. It was beyond beyond stupid and even the same conversation that happened in season two the first two episodes of conversation they had in season one it made no sense to add a filler even though the filler made absolutely no sense and then you go into season two expecting expecting them to start over where they left off instead it just goes back to them being on a train acting just completely afraid of rin made absolutely no sense to add that well i like this anime but it isn't perfect I would have gotten rid of the filler, honestly, there, they could have done so much if it wasn't for that filler, and I tried to to justify watching it, but at the same time, they're not at all faithful to the manga, I do understand it was probably written as the manga was being written, but season 2 doesn't even mention the filler, and that would change how the characters act with Rin, the only time it happens at the end at the end when they actually accept Rin and they actually start liking him and being really close friends with him near the end of season 2. Overall, I give this anime a solid 6.5 out of 10. While season 3 hasn't been confirmed, I do wish it does come out since I did like the anime, but I do hope they make it better because the, the, the season 1 was great. Season 2 was okay because season 2 was just 
one little battle stretched out for 12 episodes and seeing that little battle just completely i think the whole end scene of you of rin at the end trying to open his sword that alone took three episodes just for him to open his sword again i do have high hopes if season three is ever announced as the date i'm recording this which is october shit what day is it october 18th there hasn't been any word of season three and I do hope and I really do want to see this anime prosper. It is good on its own. The, the manga is pretty fun and entertaining too. But I really do hope they don't mess it up. And I really do hope that it becomes very, very popular. Overall, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like a like. So share this video with a friend. Subscribe if you're new. I have many more anime videos coming. So um, stay tuned for that. Hit the notification bell. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.